it was the Youngstown connection. I mean, Youngstown boys stick together, man. Like, I I came out in a time where, you know, they had told my my name, so I ain't nothing to hide. I came out at a time where there wasn't, you know, the social media and the internet and all those types of things. So what we had to look forward to was the Tom Lemming book every summer. His book came out and, you know, there would be hundreds of guys from each state that they would talk about, but only a select few would get their picture on each page. So my goal as a freshman was to get my picture on a page in one of those Tom Lemming books where they did my write up. So going into my senior year, I was blessed enough to make that. So that book just so happened to get on the desk of Bob Stoops, who so happened to be at the time the defensive coordinator at the University of Florida. And he saw, he's looking through Ohio, as you know, he's a Youngstown guy. He saw the last name. He recognized the last name. He got my coach's number out of the book, contacted my coach. My coach brought me down to the office called me in. This is, I didn't know nothing about Florida. I'm going to be honest with you. I was a big 10 guy. I was going to Michigan or Penn State in my mind. So I get on the phone and, and I hear this coach say, hey, uh, how you say your first name? I said, Kiwan. He said, oh, hey, how you doing, Kiwan? My name is Bob Stoops. I'm the defensive coordinator out at the University of Florida. I got a question for you. I said, yes, sir. He said, by any chance, do you know Chucky Ratliff? Are you any kin to him? I said, yes, sir. That's my father. Coach Bob Stoops said right there on the phone, he said, listen, I'm reading this article on you. I haven't seen you do anything. But if you're half as good as Chucky Ratliff, the University of Florida is going to offer you a scholarship. So then after that, that's when the recruiting began. They came and watched me play basketball and the rest is history.